What's going on you guys? It's Huggable Hipster here and I'm so sorry for the light. My light bulb is broken over there and the light is just, it's not working. So in three, two, one, it should be fixed post-production me. Did you do a good job? I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I hope you guys are having a good day today. Today's tea talk, since it was postponed to today, Saturday, so sorry about that. There was just a lot going on yesterday. I didn't have time to pre-record a tea talk, so here we are. We are going to be reviewing Resident Evil Resistance, and it's one of the most heated, talked about topics in the Resident Evil fandom, and I'm really excited to take a look at it. I was, like I said, was going to, did not have time, and now I finally have time to sit down, look at the entire thing, and just be like, okay, let's be critical, but also, oh god, I'm so ready. We're going to go into one thing before we go into the Resident Evil trailer, and it was brought to my attention by one of you guys that there was a new game that came out. And it's a smooch Colonel Sanders in this official KFC dating simulator. I thought the world couldn't get any weirder, right? So it's basically where there's a dating simulator, but it has Colonel Sanders. And it's just, it's, I'm, I'm not, listen, I don't question things pretty much anymore. If there's a game about it, there's going to be a game about anything, everything, just, I, it, look underneath the rock, the dirtiest things in people's minds. This is me flipping over the rock, by the way. It's going to be there. I love you, Colonel Sanders is the name of the game. According to the scene page, you're a student at a culinary school and your classmate is Colonel himself. And of course, you are joined by a clumsy best friend, a couple of heated rivals, and a dog. Better not get me emotionally attached to that dog. And a dog who is also a professor appropriately named Professor Dog. just gonna go type a one in chat if you want me to play this game oh my god okay you know what i'm actually very tempted to take a look at this on steam now it continues on to say at the end of the article that aside from all that i love you connell sender's steam page states that it includes nine characters and multiple hours of playthrough it's finger licking good though kfc is the company behind all this the developer actually psyops Sy i'm so sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong who are known for developing the vr fortune telling game kismet oh i've heard of that game okay which received generally positive reviews back in 2017 so yeah uh let me know down below if you want me to play the smooch connell sanders just not sure about this. I'm, I'm not sure. It looks interesting. It's a very unique take on a game. I just... Buyer beware. So next we are finally getting into the review for Project Resistance trailer. I Listen, I'm gonna get my headphones. I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Okay, so the trailer is a minute and 33 seconds long. So I... Oh boy. I've been already hearing people being all nasty and being all just crabby and whiny about this already and i haven't even seen the damn trailer yet so we're gonna get into this oh god pray for my soul all right let's go may contain content inappropriate for children well i have not said child oh wait hold on a second who invited the scooby gang what? What is it? Hold on, I gotta turn this up. Jesus. Alright, let's start that over. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> kind of cringy at first, not gonna lie, but it's interesting. Wait a second, that's not real? Wait. I thought that those were real people. Hold on a second, that wasn't... I wanna go to a frame of where you're actually seeing the person's face. It's not real. I thought that those were real people. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's... Wow, okay, that's... Wow. Damn, these graphics are so good. Yeah, no, it's definitely not real. It's definitely a, a video game. <laughs> Is that Wesker? 
I need to know if this is Wesker. <laughs> oh no! Is it Mr. X? No, it's not Mr. X. Nope, that's Mr. X. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Project Resistance. Okay. More details at Tokyo Game Show. Um, Alright, so it is going to be for PS4, PS4 Pro, Xbox One HDR, Xbox One Enhanced Steam. It's on all platforms. Um, don't think it's on PC, which I'm not surprised by whatsoever. So that was the trailer for Project Resistance. I mean, honestly, that looks really good. I'm really, really hyped to see if it's going to be in VR, if it's just going to be something where it's like um, kind of a Dead by Daylight kind of situation where it's multiplayer, but it still has a lot of that really amazing combat for, I'm guessing, first person. I don't know if it's going to be in like a third person perspective camera angle situation, but this looks really good. I don't know why people are complaining about this. Because the thing is, is that I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people get very butthurt about the fact that it's a multiplayer game, which granted, we've had a multiplayer game, actually two multiplayer games come out of uh, Resident Evil, the entire universe, which is Resident Evil 5 and 6. 5 was absolutely incredible. 6, not so much. And I understand why people are being hesitant because it is a multiplayer, but this looks really good. Like at first, I thought it was legit people. Who were in the game? I did not see that it was graphics like uh like G like uh, CGI until like further inspection. Like that's how trippy it is. Honestly, the graphics capabilities we know are going to be fantastic for any Resident Evil game that comes out now. But the thing is, what I don't get is why people have this entitled attitude towards Capcom of where oh we want this game oh we want this game, bitch. You got a Resident Evil 2 remake, and they're in the process of doing a Resident Evil 3 Nemesis remake, but what do you want? And on top of that, they did DLCs for Resident Evil 7. They did different uh, expansions of Resident Evil 2 Remake where they had uh, characters from the 90s into the build. So if you ever have played the original Resident Evil 2, you'll know how pixely those characters were. They made it so you could play as the original characters. So they're constantly building stuff. They're constantly bringing out new content. They're constantly doing things to make themselves not only stay relevant, you know, and the thing is, is that I totally get why they're doing this. They're trying to stay relevant in their audience and they're trying to maintain their business, which I mean, you know, that's... The, that's 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 what any corporation should be doing anyway. The other thing is that um they're doing something very very smart here. Whenever they had this thing launch, and I heard how many people were complaining about it in the fandom, it's honestly disappointing because number one, have we seen the Silent Hill franchise? No remakes have come out of there at all, none whatsoever. The only thing that was close to a remake, but not really because it was a new game, was Silent Hills, and that was absolutely incredible. And that didn't even get to see the light of day besides a demo that was a PS4 exclusive. Now I think we are all in agreement here that Silent Hill is due for a remake. I mean, the thing is, Toyama, I feel like he would have been really kind of pissed off at the fact that now it's such a day and age of where you have so many graphics capabilities, so many things to be able to make the game more realistic, and they haven't done anything for Silent Hill 2, let alone Silent Hill 3 or 1. Capcom is doing something, like I said, really brilliant here. They're doing remakes of the games, they're keeping themselves relevant, and they're feeding us such good material. Like, we are being fed so much and the thing is is that to see people being so ungrateful about it is just it's sad because you know like i said they're giving us a lot of content so they're giving us a lot of dlcs they're giving us a lot of information they're updating us constantly on different reboots on different things that are happening so capcom thank you so much for your work thank you so much for what you do for just every gamer involved because you're an amazing company that people need to respect a lot more <laughs> Whenever I see companies like Capcom, I go, wow, okay, that's really cool, you know? They're stepping out of their comfort zone a bit, and they're doing something that they know is gonna piss people off, and I like it. My prediction for E3 next year is that we are going to get an announcement and a partial trailer for Resident Evil 3 Remake, and it's going to be probably released in early to mid-2021, that's my guess. We're probably going to get another Gears of War game, and there's going to be more updates for Project Resistance, because I can just, I can see them having so many DLCs, so many different types of packages, so much, uh, like, kind of, not microtransactions, but so much availability in that game because project resistance i feel like it's gonna be huge 
it's going to be big. And I'm really excited to see what happens. And whenever that game comes out, I would be really excited to get to play that on Twitch because that just, it looks like it's going to be so much fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This uh, tea talk was short, sweet, and to the point. I just, oh, I have so much to say about Capcom. I have so much to say about Konami. I have so much to say about the entire franchise and why game, you know, different kinds of games should be remade and they're not. And it's disappointing because, you know, we're starting Silent Hill 3 really soon on the channel. By the way, the trailer comes out next Friday. You best be ready, ho. The trailer comes out next Friday, and for me, it's like I'm really excited to dive back into Silent Hill. It's become one of my favorite game series, and it's just, oh god, there's there's so many things I absolutely love about the Silent Hill world. But yeah, if you guys like my face and want to do, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell down below because I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 1 p.m. EST, not counting today because today I, I had to put out a, a video like you guys know, so yeah. But stay casually nerdy, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Peace.